Rubin and Krylik. They have to very have a good relationship as one stays high and occupy the center back, the other one needs to drop in. As Rubio Rubin does get us started, Real Salt Lake and LA Galaxy in the Open Cup quarterfinal. It was interesting talking to Greg Fanny about that match. And he said, look, we got the result, but in the attacking phase, we needed to be a bit more patient. Too many times we broke their initial press and tried to play direct. That's Tyler Boyd, also at Chivas USA. 260 MLS appearances. As Gomez getting beyond one, the cutback is on. It was helped towards that back post, but not enough on it there. It's an awkward header there. We'll come here for Chicharito, who tries to cut back. Marcelo Silva in the way. And now Savarino controlling ahead of Vivi. A nice bit of skill to get beyond him initially, but in attempting to poke it beyond Julia. Now they gave it away. Roll increased as well. It's nodded down there by Demir Krylock. And again, Savarino getting the beating of a fullback. Has Gomez as a cross crossing option. We'll go for the pullback with Demir Krylock, who just couldn't get clean purchase to it. Paulo Ruiz, Ernelli, you can't get caught up on the same plane. You do both don't want to get high. One needs to sit in front of that back line to negate those types of balls to stop transition moments, because that's what LA Galaxy is trying to do. Force her nervous and go back the other way very quick. Great movement. Brody giving license to get forward, and now Rubin is in. His lacrosse for Krylock is a simple tap-in. The two front men combining. And largely against the run of play, Real Salt Lake have the opener. Decision making all on display here for Real Salt Lake. Justin Glad, the ability to push the issue. And then it's off the ball running. As this ball comes to the interior, Rupin goes around the corner. We talked about secondary movement from Krylak to show he's coming short. And then at the last second, play off the shoulder of Gazzaris. Composure from Rubin to pick up his head. And what an easy finish that is for the captain of RSL. They get their goal. First one coming in the 106th minute. And it was the floodgates opening as Buches, Gambian Ruiz, and clips in towards Chicharito. Glad getting a touch. Early stages. Just Here's Krylock. Just see the space between lines for RSL to pick their head up and find the right spots. Krylock, this movement. Now Gomez lining one up to have a hit. But it's straight at Jonathan Klinsman. He said, look, we're not far off. It's when a lack of decision in the attacking third, maybe a mishap in the defensive half. That's why we've not gotten the results that we want. Come looking to the interior. Let's see what RSL get onto it. The movement is quick. And Nelly now assessing his options for the cross. Carlock's header down. It's right at Klinsman once more. And Vivi. Tyler Boyd taking up a position in a central area and having a strike. But Ruiz in the way. Inserted into concussion protocol. Just 18 years of age, but experienced with the Real Monarchs and determined to be ready for the challenge. It's Boyd with a nice first touch towards goal. Boyd's hit is that Beavers who produces a decent save there. Savarino now has Brody running beyond him. Could there be a chance down the other end? Andrew Brody in towards Krylock. Tried to take it with his left. Sliding to throw it out there as Oviedo returns. Another strike. It's right down. Just pinging off him. Avoiding the danger there, the Galaxy is Boyd. It's going forward again. He cuts inside of Glad. Goes over the challenge and that's as straightforward of a yellow card as you'll see. And that will be a talking point. Heading into the next round. Anelli. Also, some of the teams that have gone through, obviously Cincinnati going very well in the league. Now they're overexpanded, they're vulnerable. So if you're Real Salt Lake, how quickly can you turn your defense into offense? That space right there is when, what I'm talking about. Krylock going for goal and forcing Klinsman to tip around the post. It might have been going wide anyway, but the Galaxy Netminder not taking any chances. Being staying high, he occupies the two center backs. So there's going to be a real stay right in front of them because they can't step out. Great first touch out of his body. You see what he's trying to do. Bend it into that far post. 120 minutes, one on penalties. That's now Pooch getting the Galaxy forward. Three options with him. Takes the option of Tyler Boyd who goes for the curler. And we started it outside that post, but it was nearly another goal for Boyd. Glad 
And Rubin timing his run well. Flag staying down. Rubin now in towards Gomez, who tried to flick it on and just couldn't direct it on target. And again, it's Aude, who is the subject of the conversation. Swung in towards that penalty spot. Free header there for Silva. And the referee has awarded a penalty. Half time. As this ball gets swung in, I think Rubin ends up on the on the ground. There's contact between him and Casares. It's an arm around the corner, but that's very harsh. Oh, he's been in the mind of the referee. Now Krylak steps up to try to double the lead. Rubin provided the assist for the first goal and provides the penalty win for the second. Demir Krylak, the captain, doubles RSL's lead. Gets his second brace in this Open Cup. And RSL have one foot in the semifinal. Cool, calm, and collected. Closes his hips at the last second. Sends Klinsman the wrong way. And hits it just so clean. Just ropes it into this near side. No keeper stopping that, even if Klinsman gets it the right way. And off to the corner, Demir Krylak, first half brace. Leading by example. You see what it means to him. RSL faithful as they get their second goal. And these supporters have not seen a home win since April. April the 22nd against San Jose to be exact. Now have their side at 2-0 to the good. Penalty award. Now, one bit of context missing there is the penalty is given against Julian Aude. The referee had had a few conversations with the Galaxy left back about his defending from set pieces. So awkwardly away there from Casares. Here's Gomez. Turning on the pace. Low driven ball comes through. And it's off a of Klinsman and into side netting. It's a bit of magic out of nothing here from Gomez. He was so good in this first half. The ability just to beat his players with pace. And as he elects to go for goal, nerve. Pooch. Given away. And plenty of space for RSL to charge into. Rubin in behind. Lovely ball. And there's the third. Who else but Jefferson Savarino? Scored the wonder goal against Colorado in the fifth round. And as they overexpand, they leave them very vulnerable going back the other way. You talk about decision making, you talk about timing. As this ball comes out, Savarino breaks at the right amount of time, right off the shoulder of Delgado. Talk about the finish, just so cheeky. Opens up his hips and closes him at the last second. Sends Klinsman the wrong way. And here, as a homegrown player since 2014. Pooch on the turn. And yanked to the ground there. That's going to be a yellow card for Demir Krylock. Savarino who runs down this right. So really free rolls for the ostensible wide men. Trying to poke beyond Neal. He's got beyond Neal. And a hand around the waist. And a yellow card coming for Jalen Neal. Now a free kick to come. Ruiz will swing in into the heart of that area. It's a free header and a save from Klinsman. Marcelo Silva. And set pieces are throughout this Open Cup. Good ball in from Pablo Ruiz, but no. And a triple change being readied by Greg Vanny. Jovalic He's tripped up from behind. Another yellow card coming. It's going to be Anelli. Just so unlucky. All about service into the target, man. It's been lack thereof for LA Galaxy. And here is the triple change. Julian Aude. And clip there to the area was Aguirre, but referee unmoved. Boyd. Low through the penalty. It comes from the back post. And it's sent wide there by Caligari. Arriving on the scene. Back into Pooch. Just look at the run from Jovalic. That pulls out Andrew Brody. Now as this ball comes back across the mouth, the goal. So many players miss. Caligari is going to want this one. For Brian Oviedo. So Oviedo off, Savarino off, and Rubin off. The introductions of Michael Chang. Some fresh legs coming on here. And Marcel taking a bit of the sting out of the game when the Galaxy looked like they were enjoying some periods. A big chance for Caligari gone begging. You just see what happens when you have 
Now this is going to look different here for Real Salt Lake. Take in a Ruby Rubin. You bring in an Anderson Julio. The ability to stretch the game, the pace that he possesses. He's going to look for the ball in behind. So it's been a good substitution off the bench here for Greg Vandy. He's an insertion of energy, quality, the willingness to take people 1v1 as well. Boyd will leave it for Costa, who goes for goal. And it's a leaping catch there for Beavers. Question marks and challenges is never a question for this RSL side. And it's on display here. You talk about rotation. You talk about game, so many games over a short amount of time. I haven't missed a blink. Departing Paris Saint-Germain, deciding to take his talents to South Florida. Weak feet there from Ojeda. We've seen some nice little bits of skill from RSL tonight. On for Costa. Douglas Costa and Caligari, low cross in towards Jovalich. He just didn't get clean purchase on the strike. Tyler Boyd was arriving behind Jovalich if he just let it run. Dispossessed there by Edwards. Now Pooch again trying to drift through. Decent idea in towards Aguirre will still come for him. Aguirre in the penalty area goes down and that'll be a penalty. It was clumsy for Marcelo Silva. Once again, and as Aguirre gets a second bite of the apple, the lack of defending to make a challenge from first Justin Glad, and it's a secondary action there from Silva. It's Gaston Brugman who will take here from the spot, converted in the win against Real Salt Lake in the league a week ago, and Gaston Brugman has scored again against Real Salt Lake from the penalty spot. It's one back for LA Galaxy. We'd be heading towards the dramatic finale here at America First Field. Step up in times of adversity, just head down, lace it through the ball. Hits it so clean. This Beaver guesses the wrong way. And it will be Andres Gomez coming off for the introduction of Bodhi Hidalgo. Mavinga. Into Aguirre, who about controls. After winning that penalty, Costa now goes for the curler! Now then, Douglas Costa with a trademark goal. And we've got a dramatic one on here. Two goals in quick succession, and the Galaxy are right back in it. As a substitution, you want to bring two things, quality and energy. Aguirre's bring both of that, and this man as well. The little drop with the shoulder on top of this 18-yard box, and just roped this thing into that far post. We've seen this before. Across the pond there from Douglas Costa, and what a terrific strike that was. And it will be Pablo Ruiz who will make way for the final change for Real Salt Lake. It's Loffelson. The misshape of this back line for LA Galaxy. Nice one, two there, and Elliot and Krylock. In towards Krylock, chips it towards that back post. It was nearly a sublime chip, but headed off the line there by Caligari. Everyone's on their heels. The audacity. Demir Kralik like just to try this up and over, but talk about goal line defending to put his body on the line there. Reads the fly to the ball, it takes a contact, not the initial action, but the secondary once again to connect this pass and relieve some of the pressure. Loffelson though into trouble, Brugman winning it back and gets it from Jovalich and goes for goal and Beavers force into the save. Brugman just picks a pocket, I think if he just rotates this ball once again, you see the overload. Tyler Boyd the ability to create combination plays on top of the 18 yard box. Caligari coming forward. Costa able to control on the touchline and a nice bit of skill. Pooch down for Pooch. Referee allow the play to continue. Challenge in. Dispossessing Pooch and there's full time. They made it nervy, but Rail Salt Lake are through to the semifinal.